How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to talk about the pros and cons of the Kindle Touch. Had a chance to play with it for a couple days and uh, kind of want to share my impression and give you just an idea of what are some of the cool things about it, what I didn't like that much about it, and hopefully it will help you make an informed decision if you want to get one. All right. So first pro is uh, that the size, it's very small, it's very light. I mean, this thing is just, it's tiny, okay? The Nook Simple Touch is supposed to be like the smallest reader on the market. I wouldn't want a reader to be too small because I want to be able to see the pages. So I like that, you know, it's got a six inch screen, uh, good size, the weight is super light. I mean, literally you toss that in a bag, you forget it's in there, like that's how light it is. Um, next pro, um, I felt that the, the touch was, was pretty responsive in the sense that, um, well, let me show you an example. And the reason I make this point, uh, the point I'm going to make is, um, I think it's important, you know, to be able to, you know, have a responsive touch screen because if you're going to have something touch screen, don't have me hitting the same button four and five times for it to work. It needs to work when I tap it. Okay. So for example, like right now, if I were to go to the bookstore, okay, and I want to search a book, I was really impressed by how um, when I started typing, although it's a little slow, it picks up every letter. So let me show you an example here. So I'm going to search for a book. Um, the millionaire next door okay now I did make a few mistakes but if you see how fast it was you know it responded the millionaire in fact it even tries to make a suggestion and I've only had it for a few days so it does take a little getting used to but I mean it's quick you know I, I was it goes in quick the keyboard, you know, like it knows what I'm trying to press and it, it comes up. So um, I like that. Um, one of the things I don't like about the other Kindle, there's a Kindle that's $79. That one isn't touchscreen. So whenever you want to search for something, you have to like use the arrows and like go to each letter one by one. And I think that's very annoying and very tedious. So uh, if you're going to invest in a reader, at least get one that's touchscreen because now... Um, you know, it's just going to be a lot faster to be able to search for things. Even on the original Kindle, I didn't care for the keyboard too much because I felt like the buttons were too hard. So when you press down, you know, it shouldn't take that much work just to type in to look for something. So that was a, a, a plus in my book. I felt the touch was responsive. You know, it could be a little bit faster, but it's a reader. So, you know, I don't think speed is, is that big of a deal to a reader. Okay. Um, next pro it actually has a speaker on the back of the unit and so the the pro about that is that um, there's an experimental feature in the Kindle if you go to menu and you go to experimental <coughs> excuse me uh, you can actually listen to music you can actually plug it in with the uh, with the cord it comes with it comes with a uh, USB cable and you can transfer songs I actually have one song I put in here today for a different video if you crank it all the way up, it actually gets pretty loud. So, I mean, I know you don't buy a reader for music, but, you know, if it has it, I mean, that's a great plus to have. I, that's what I think. Because this is a great unit that you can take with you on a road trip or on, you know, whatever. You don't have to worry about the battery, and that's another point I'm going to hit in a second. That you got a good battery life, and you can read, and you can listen to music. So, um... I really was impressed that it had speakers and it sounded pretty good. Also has the uh, headphone jack at the bottom so you can plug in your own uh, headphones if you don't want anyone else to hear. But hey, it's nice to be able to just play it out loud if you're by yourself. Um, so next plus, it actually has PDF support. So it will let you um, plug it into a computer, upload your own PDF, and read it on here as well. So... Definitely love that. I know PDF is a very common format that a lot of us use, so it's nice to be able to load that on here and take it with you. Um, next big plus is that the, the Kindle Touch actually has 4 gigabytes of uh, storage space, and 3 gigs of that are for books and content pretty much. So with that 3 gigs, you can store over 3,000 books, 
which is a great plus because you can literally carry your whole library with you and when you want to pull up something you hit a couple of buttons and you have it so um, I definitely love that it's nice to be able to carry a lot and that's where e-readers are going to take over because you know instead of carrying a big book or a big backpack you have this little guy and it's going to just cover everything so big plus there I also love that Next pro I say is um, I love the battery life. Um, according to uh, Amazon, the battery is supposed to last up to two months on one charge. Um, and to get it up to two months, you just have to make sure that uh, you turn the wireless off. So turn the wireless on if you want to download something or look up something. And then just go ahead and turn it off so you can preserve your battery life. Um, next thing... Um, this kind of ties into one of the previous ones, but I felt the searching was really easy. One, because of just the uh, the touch screen, but, you know, again, just being able to type in the title of the book. You know, it's nice to have that that touch there just to, you know, punch it in real quick and find it. So, uh, searching books, was I found really simple, and I was able to find some of my favorites really quick when I used it. Um and last pro, and which is a really big thing as well, um, the page numbers now correspond with the printed edition. So when you download a book, the page numbers will actually correspond with the actual book. Okay, so you don't have to worry about maybe if you are in a book club and you're reading with a bunch of people, making sure you're on the same page. Uh, again, according to a lot of the blogs I read, the page numbers will correspond. So now it's easier to stay, you know, um, aligned with other people reading the same book or you know for other reasons so those are all the pros let me go ahead and hit the cons um, one of the biggest cons to me or this maybe this was more of a pet peeve but um, I didn't like that it didn't come with a wall charger it actually only comes with the uh, USB cable so you have to actually charge it in a computer and hey what if you don't have a computer you know, then you purposely have to spend that extra 20 bucks and actually get the wall charger. So uh, I didn't particularly care for that. I felt that they could have went ahead and threw it in there. But that's just me. So that was one of the cons I had. Second con was uh, the advertisements. Um, and that's kind of what allows the Kindle to be so inexpensive is that they have these special offers. But what I don't like is when you put the Kindle to sleep, the home screen immediately switches to a special offer. Like, it was kind of funny because, like, the first day I got it, I took it out and played with it for a second, and then I left it on my, like, uh, my little TV tray. And I swear the whole day I kept looking over, and there was, like, a picture every time I looked on it. It was, like, some type of advertisement. And I don't know. I, I thought it was a little annoying. I wish there was a way you could turn that off, but I guess the whole point of it is that, you know, they make money by having those offers in there. So um, I personally would have liked them to offer a non special offer version I mean because some people don't mind paying a little bit extra to not have that so that was kind of like a con three or excuse me con two and three um, I didn't care for the advertisements and I wish that Amazon had released a non special offer version that um, we could have purchased if we said hey I don't really care for again the special offers and my last con was just that there was no expandable storage I do realize it's an e-reader and 3,000 books is a lot, but just the fact that I can put music on it as well, I would like the ability to expand the memory. I mean, the device is small enough where they could have added a micro SD card slot and then you can store many more books or more music or more documents. So I feel like it kind of limits it by saying, hey, you know, you can only load so much stuff on it. So those are the pros and cons that I uh, took from just playing with it for a couple of days. Um, go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Or maybe you have some other pros or other cons that we can go ahead and share in the video. So, um, But that's my review from H2 Tech Videos. Pros and cons of the Kindle Touch. Hope you enjoyed that and have a good one.